Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about breeding and selection and here is a problem. Leo's IQ is 86 and Julius IQ is 110. The mean IQ or intelligence quotient in the population is 100. Assume that the neuroscience heritability for IQ is 0.4. What is the expected IQ of the Leo and Julius first child? Please take a look at this table. It represents a distribution of the IQ in a general population, which we also call base population. And you would see that uh, very few people are very stupid and very few are very smart or uh, genius. And most of the people uh, we can find around the mean of this population, which is 100. So 100 is the mean in this population. And we call this again base population. And uh, Leo IQ is 86, so around here. So 86, this point. This is Leo's IQ. So Leo. Julius IQ is 110. So the point about here, and this is going to be Julius IQ. In order to solve this problem, we have to find response to selection or R, which equal to H small squared, which stands for the neurosense heritability, times S, which stands for the selection differential. So what is a selection differential? This is difference between mean of the base population and mean of the selected parents. So let's do this first step and find the mean of the selected parents. So we have 86 plus 110 and we have to divide by 2. This is how we are going to find mean of the IQ of the selected parents. 86 plus 110 is going to be 196 divided by 2. So this is going to be mean of the selected parents. So uh, this mean is going to be somewhere here. And this is going to be mean of the selected parents. So this mean is slightly uh, less than mean of the base population. Now the final step in our calculation. So R or response to selection would equal to narrow sense heritability, which is 0 0.4. This is how a trait can be attributed to a genotype or genetics. Multiplied by selection differential of the parents and uh, again mean of the parents and mean of the uh, base population. So we have to multiply by 98 minus 100 and plus 100. And our answer is going to be 99.2. And this is going to be our answer. This is going to be predicted IQ of the child of the Leo and Julius first child. But I underline the first child because actually this is fictional problem and this doesn't work like this. This only works when we take thousands of people with average say 86 um, uh, IQ number for IQ and 110 then we get this number 98. Of course in the progeny we also going to have some distribution of the trait but with average expected average of the IQ 99.2. Uh, this rules doesn't apply to the single case but this problem is just to demonstrate how to solve this type of problems. Again 0 0.4 in this formula stands for the narrow sense heritability which is h small squared and S here stands for the selection differential. So this part 
we are going to get here negative number. Our answer have to be a number uh, which stands for the IQ of the child. So we have to add again uh, mean IQ of the base population. That's why we add 100 here. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.